Hello, good night, and welcome back to Client Survey Technology, iTech285. Adam Lamu here, and we are going to go through linking SQL to Access 2007 using WAMP Server. WAMP Server basically is Apache, MySQL, and PHP Server for Windows. Now, before you get started, you're going to have to download WAMP Server, which you can find here. Just Google WAMP Server, you'll get this page here. Now, depending on your OS, either download 32 or 64, whichever your choice. And also, you're going to need the MySQL ODBC connector, which you can also Google and download here. You have four different versions to download from. So, once you've downloaded these two softwares and you've installed them, we're going to begin first by running WAMP Server. As you can see, WAMP Server icon just flashed there. So here it is, my WAMP Server icon. It's already online. Uh, just to make sure, we're going to restart all services. You can see the icon changing colors. And once it's on the green, that means it's good to go. Uh, before you continue, Obviously, you must have SQL Server 2008 installed. If your icon is orange for any particular reason and you cannot bring up the MyPHP admin page, which is built into WAMP Server, what I would suggest you do is you go to SQL Server folder, go to Configuration Tools, and you're going to click on Reporting Services Configuration Manager. Not many people know about this, but I'm showing you just as an extra precaution. Uh, you connect to your server, and report server instance. As you can see here, the report server status is on. Uh, as I said, if you see this icon here, orange, what we need to do is to stop the service. Because what this usually does, it blocks certain services on web server from, report, from being used. All right. So once you stop it and the icon turns green, you simply exit and then you continue. Now, first off, we're going to open my PHP, the PHP my admin page for WAMP server. So you're going to left click on the icon, I'm going to go up to my PHP admin, click it, and it will open up this page on your default browser, be it Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to create a table. You could use one of the built-in databases here, right? or you can create your own. For this tutorial, I'm going to use one of the built-in databases. I'm going to use test. Right? As you can see, there's already a table here, but I'm going to create another one. Let me go through the whole process with you. Right? So here you have table structure. But first you have to give it a name. So we're going to give it WAMP Access Test 1. I'm going to create the columns. First off, we're going to make an ID number. Secondly, we're going to make a name. ID number, leave it on integer. I'm going to put length as 10. For name, we're going to put it on text. Put it as 20. Put these as default. Don't need to choose any coalition. These are things you can change on your own, depending on what you plan to do with WAMP servers, um, database creator. Right. But I'm just going through these simple steps. And you're going to make a primary key for your ID card number. And you're going to auto increment it. So every time you enter new information, it's going to queue onto another row. You can add any extra comments, comments on the table. Right. Uh, see that two rows are not going to be enough. We're going to add in two more. Right. So we're going to put two more columns. Click go. 
there you have it. Two more columns just ended up on this system here. So now we're going to put address. Right, we'll put this as text. Put it for 50 characters. We've got a default. Coalition none. Attributes all. Right. Uh, we're going to put date of birth. I'm going to put this as date. I'll leave the characters at 10. Alright, that should be it. Now we're going to save the table. Alright, as you can see, the table has been created. So we're going to click on WAMP Access Test 1. And here you go. These are your columns. Alright, so now that we've set a primary key and created the columns, let's start inserting information. So we're going to click on Insert. I'm going to type ID card number. I'm going to go with 208647 name and address drive right a data booth Just to make sure you want to put it the correct date, you can also change it from here. Change it to the different years, and the different months, and the days. Alright, and that's it. I'm going to create a second set of information. Right. Right. Once you've finished off all the information, you're going to click Go. Right. Two rows inserted. And you see the SQL code in here. And it shows you all the information we just put in. And you could also run the SQL queries on the database over here. Right. So if you click on the table here, uh, here you are. This is your information you just inputted, or I just inputted. Right, so now that we know it's here, now it's just to get it to access. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go start, shift, right click, run as administrator. You must always do this. Right, plug database. I'm calling this SQL WAMP access test. I'll click create. I'll close off the table. Go to external data. As you can tell, this is very similar to how we linked SQL Server to Access 2008, right? which was my previous tutorial. It's the same thing, but it's going to be a little different this time. It's going to go to Link Data Source again. <laughs> click OK. Go to Machine Data Source. Click New. Click on System Data Source, which you would get only by running Access in Administrator Mode. Click Next. I'm going to look for ISQL ODBC 5.1 Driver. I'm click Next. Finish. And you get this window here. I'm going to type Data Source name, which would be SQL WAMP Test. I'm going to Select the database, which I use the test database. I'm going to test the connection. Connection successful. Click OK. Click OK again. And there it is, SQL WAMP test. So you click OK again. And you're going to get the link tables window. And we're going to select WAMP access test one, which has our information. Click OK. And there it is. And like we did with the other tutorial, we're going to link the tables. I'll link it, click OK. 
right, linked, close, double click, and here you go. Your information is here. And just like with the previous tutorial, you can go through it and enter more information. Right. Oh, well, once you add the information from here, obviously, when you refresh your PHP My Admin page, that will see here. So they're both linked, and you can edit the information on either side. And that's basically it. Pretty simple, isn't it? All right. All you have to do. Let's go through the installations of Farm Server, SQL Server, and the ODBC connector. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful and incitive. If you have any problems, you can always comment below the link, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching, and good night.